I uh, understand where you want to end up uh, is true. I mean, at the end, uh, uh, two years ago in Baku, I, I, I couldn't think I had this strength to, uh, to end the race the way it uh, ends up after losing my father. Obviously, yesterday, uh, this is a little bit of a different situation because obviously Antoine, we lost him on track, a track which we had to race on today, so it was very, very difficult. I remember with, with Antoine, we started uh, in karting in 2005 all together with Esteban and Pierre, and we did our first race in Manicou all together. Antoine won, actually, and uh, these are amazing memories. So, uh, yeah, it's a very sad day. I, uh, I can't enjoy as much as I would like this, uh, this first, uh, first victory, uh, but, but yeah, I had Antoine in my thoughts the, the whole race, and uh, I'm satisfied to, to win on a day like this, to, uh, to remember him the way he deserves. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know um, Antoine, so, but uh, I, it just hits, it really hit home, you know, because I, when you do what, when we do the same thing, when you've been in the car, when you know what it's like, you know what, when it's, you know, just, just, um, just this, uh, the same day I had the crash. And I remember seeing some fans kind of laughing and waving in the fan, like, it's dangerous what we do, you know, and, um, so it really, really hit home then on top of that afterwards. And, and I didn't really sleep a lot last night. I, I don't know why I couldn't sleep, but it was just a really sad day thing for everyone. Seeing his parents this morning, it's very, very hard to even believe he's gone. Um, but it just shows that we've got to continue to do work. GP2 or Formula 2 needs to, the cars needs to be even safer.